What's up guys, it's you, and uh, welcome to a push to rank 500 in the NU tier for this brand new week. Um, as always, we are going to try to hit rank 500 in the NU ladder. Um, let me just, um, there we go. Alright, now that is done. Um, so uh, this week we are using kind of a cool team. We are using a, a sticky web team. And um, it basically I built this team and uh, I tested it a little bit. It works pretty well. I think it can work high high up on the ladder. So um, so the first Pokemon we have is our web setter. We have Levani with sticky web, magic oak, uh, toxic, and X scissor. And then we also have Spex Magmortar who really benefits from webs because it doesn't have to run scarf. And so it gets Fire Blast, Thunderbolt, HP Grass, and Focus Blast. And then we also have Feraligator here, um, who is holding the Lumberry to a stop Will-O-Wisp uh, with Source Dance, Waterfall, Aqua Jet, and uh, I'm going to change this to Earthquake, because Earthquake is generally better. Um, with a 28 HP EVs, 252 Adamant, and a 228 Speed. And then we also have Electivire, who is here to basically check um, Flying Types. And because my team really struggles with flying types outside of that. Uh, with Life Orb, Wild Charge, Earthquake, HP Grass, because I really hate Seismitoad and Fire Punch. And then we also have Sneasel. I'm running a Violite over Life Orb. Simply because um, it allows me to take Sucker Punches from Ponyard a little better. Uh, Sword Dance, Knock Off, Ice Punch, and Low Kick. And then we also have Primeap, who is our Defiant user. Close Combat, Stone Edge, Ice Punch, and Sea Bomb. So uh, let's quickly jump into a battle. Um right here on the NU ladder. Actually, let me check um, where we have to get for NU. And let me check my rank. We have to get to 1390, so it's like three points higher than it was last week. And uh, we are at 1,279, meaning we have just a little over 100 points to go. So uh, let's do that real quick in today's episode. Oh, also, I'm using Trident's um, Showdown skin. Tell me what you guys uh, think of it. That is going to be today's comment question in the video. Anyway, I'm leading Levani. Because I, I literally have no reason not to. I'm going to go for a sticky web right here. And um, slow his team down a little bit. As he goes for the X scissor. Brings me down to my sash. And um... Oh man, this is bad. Because he, he's going to knock me out with rapid speed. I suggest that you um... Deep down inside yourself there and try and find what else do I set up? Okay, I set up webs against you. So I can save you. Um, I think I'm going to go into the Feraligator right here. Because uh, looking at his team, if I can set up a few sword dances, I should be able to handle Cray Daily, uh, which comes out now. I should have just predicted that and gone out in a Sneasel, but I didn't. Um, so I'm going out in a Sneasel right now. Uh, this is going to force him out into... Actually, I'm just going to click knockoff right here. There's no way he's staying in. He needs this to check Gator, or else he loses to Gator straight up. So um, I'm going to go for the uh, knockoff right here because I don't think he's going to stay in. And um, yeah, he, oh, okay, he ends up staying in, which is fine. Knockoff is weakness policies. He misses the stone edge. Um, so the hacks gods helped me a little bit right there. And um, so he goes into nine tails right here, which is fine because I'm just going to go into, um, I'm just going to go into my Magmortar right here because Magmortar can uh, take this hit pretty well. Um, that was a crit, and that is Life Orb, and that is Flash Fire. All right, um, I'm gonna go for a Specs Focus Blast right here. This he ends up going into his Uxy, which is fine by me. Um, I'm going to go out into my Sneasel here um, because he, like, I literally knew, lose nothing by it. He ends up getting up some rocks. Um, I'm just gonna go for the knockoff. Sneasel has the strongest knockoff in the tier, and um, like, it it, act, it actually just destroys things. He goes into this, which I knock off his Life Orb. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go for a low kick, right? Actually, um, do I? Do I? No. I'm gonna go for a nice punch. He ends up going for the aqua jet. That is nothing. Um, and uh, but I am not able to take him out either, which is a bit disappointing. I'm gonna go for a low kick though, um, as he ends up going out into his nine tails, which you know is kind of disappointing. I'm just gonna go for another knockoff, as that will be able to knock him out. So Sneasel is putting in a ton of work in today's episode, and my chair is making all sorts of dumb noises right now. So I apologize if that annoys you guys a little bit. So if he goes out into his Gorbis, I'm just going to knock off. Because I literally lose nothing by it. Um, and if he wants to try to... Like, I basically stop him from passing into something really scary. Because I can just click knock off again. Um, if he wants to pass into Cray Daily, then uh, he gets absolutely destroyed. So this is, a, this is a quick pass team for him, no doubt. Um, knockoff doesn't actually do that much. He has white herb. He ends up going for surf to knock me out, which is fine. 
Um, and I have no spinner, so I cannot get my sticky web up. That's a problem. <laughs> um, but I'm gonna go with Evire. Because Evire just comes in and, uh, does good damage to something with a wild charge. I can also, uh, go for the fire punch if he goes into Cray Daily. But he ends up just sacking Armaldo, which is fine with me. Like, I, I don't really care if he sacks that. Um, he goes into this. Um, I gotta keep Evire intact I think yeah I gotta keep Evire intact to take a hit from Swell so I'm gonna go ahead and sack Levani right here um because Levani really doesn't do anything else for me as he ends up going for recover that was a bad move on my part but uh <laughs> I have Primeape right here and Primeape is going to be able to do some good damage to something with a close combat um it yeah it's going to knock out his um it's going to knock out his Cradily which is what I was fearing and he goes into his Swellow um, I'm gonna go for the Ice Punch right here, as he just ends up going for a Brave Bird. Um, you know, I'm fine with that. And I think he actually wins right here, because I don't have anything to take out, um, this Swellow. And this is why I said my team really struggles with a Flying type, specifically Swellow. So whenever I hit a Swellow, I'm probably gonna lose, um, which is a bit unfortunate. Let me actually readjust this so I can see how long I've been recording for. I've been recording for like 6 minutes, 30 seconds right now. Um... But yeah, it's a little um, unfortunate how weak my team is to Swellow, um, because, like, you know, Swellow's a pretty good Pokemon, and it's just really hard to counter. He ends up going for the Quick Attack, which was a good play. Um, I think I'm going to go out into Evire right here, because uh, Evire should be able to take a hit the best, and um, I can... I should really run Scarf Evire. You know what? I'm going to... Actually, no, that'd be kind of dumb, to be honest. Um, because my team is predicated around Sticky Web. Actually, I'm going to change that right now to Scarf Evire, just because, and sorry, my phone is ringing. Um, so anyway, let me go down to my team right here, and I'm going to change this to Choice Scarf, because, um, it will help me beat Swellow. Uh, as he ends up going for the facade, and that is going to be a good game, I think, unless I'm able to, like, get a crit with uh, Aqua Jet and knock him out right here. Um, oh, I don't get the crit, but he's going to be able to knock me out with the facade, so that's a good game. Um, which is a bit unfortunate. I get dropped down to 1267, but we're going to grab one more battle uh, this episode and see if we can uh, eventually win. Um, if things go really bad, like really, really bad, then... Um, I may change to a uh, spike stacking toxic spikes team to help beat some of the bulk in you. But anyway, looking at this guy's team, um, he has Vile Plume, which is a pain in the butt. He also has Kingler, and we know how powerful Kingler is from last week. He ends up leading that. I'm just going to get up my webs right here and uh, hope that he... Like, what does he have for this? Like, not... Like, his only thing really to hit it super effectively is going to be his Archeops and his... Um, his nine tails. So, like, once I get webs down, I think I have a pretty easy time against this team. Uh, he ends up going for an X scissor, which is super effective, and I end up getting on my webs, which is fine. I'm just gonna go for the toxic. He is scarfed because he did outspeed me. Kingler is not that fast, and uh, this is going to allow me essentially a free switch. In actually, it doesn't really give me a free switch into much. Um, I'm gonna go into this thing though. Because I don't think he's going to want to stay in. And something else gets nuked by a Fire Blast. So. Um, he ends up switching into his... Oh, I'm an idiot. Um, yeah, that was a really dumb play on my part. Don't ever play like me. <laughs> I'm going to go into my Gator right here and hope that he's not a bulky will and wisp set. Um, he ends up going for the Hidden Power. Which is more than likely like HP Ground or something. Um, but right here, I'm going to predict to switch into Vile Plume and go into my Sneasel. Because a Sneasel will be helpful to uh, take down a lot of his Pokemon uh, right here. Um, so he does indeed end up going out into Vile Plume. I'm fearing the... Uh... Actually, do I lose anything by Sword Stand? I don't think I lose. No, he's... I I'm going to Sword Stance right here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't Sleep Powder. Him Sleep Powdering is a very real possibility, but I didn't think he would do it. He ends up going out into Kingler, which is fine. Because now I have a plus two knockoff coming to any one of his Pokemon. Which is going to hurt a lot. Um, Miss Magius is... Actually, Miss Magius can't even shut down the sweep because um, even though it levitates, it's a lot slower than Sneasel. Um, so I get rid of his scarf, but it doesn't matter because Kingler is down. 
Um, I outspeed the rest of his team. We'll see if Slaking can take a hit. Um, I'm actually going to calc this real quick. A plus two low kick from, I believe I'm Jolly. Uh, I should probably just really keep the team up. Um, I'm Adamant. Okay. So uh, we'll go Sneasel. Standard and you. Um, but go Adamant and uh, Violite versus a Slaking. Not a Skarmory. Slaking. In you usage. Uh, low kick at plus two. Will has a good chance to, to knock it out. I get knocked out by Giga Impact. Um, but Giga Impact. Uh, dang it. I really need Primate. I really. I mean, I really need Sneasel. Um, I'm gonna go out into uh, my Gator right here because Gator is looking. Actually, that'd be real. Ah, no, 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 no. I've clicked like three T, three things. Showdown is gonna mess up. So I'm gonna go into Magmortar right here um, because my main game plan right here is going to be. Um, Okay, he goes for the return, so he's a return variant. That's actually kind of bad. Um, but I just get to go in a Primate right here, and I get to close combat something, essentially for free. Um, Miss Magius is the only thing that really threatens Primate. But, um, you know, I'm not really too worried. Um, the I, I didn't want to chance it to some roll right there and uh, risk having... or risk being knocked out. And um, I'm, I get poisoned by uh, Effect Spore, but I'm just going to hit him with an Ice Punch right here. He's probably not expecting it. I run a dual Lure Primate. Um, I run Ice Punch to Lure Vileplume, and I run Seed Bomb to Lure Seismitoad. Because um, when I was testing, I, I found that those two things really hurt my team a lot. So I wanted a way to counteract those, and um, the answer seemed to be um, Seed Bomb and Ice Punch on Primate. But uh, he goes into Archaeops right here. Um, I'm fine with sacking Primeape to an Acrobatics because I get to go into Scarfed Evire and destroy this man's team. Because I, he actually doesn't have any more switch ins uh, to Evire. Um, so Evire is about to do a lot of damage. It should knock Archaeops out. Yeah, it, it knocks Archaeops out. Who am I kidding? Um, I'm Scarfed, so I will outspeed the entirety of his team. And I win by weakening. Actually, he still has a pretty good... Actually, I, I just got a weak Slaking. Um, or Nox Slaking out. Um, either one of those will help me a lot. Because then I can... Uh... Okay, I only did 38%. He's bulky. And he goes for the Earthquake. I know he's choice. Um, but uh, we're going to Swords Dance with Sneasel right here. I think we can take a hit from a Slaking. I know... Oh, he has Truant. So I get a free I get a free turn right here. I get a free Swords Dance. And I should be able to sweep his team from here. Because... He doesn't have anything to take on Sneasel, unless he's like um, Choice Scarf Will-O-Wisp, which if he's Choice Scarf Will-O-Wisp, then I just, like, I don't know. He actually outspeeds me. That, what is this? How fast is, oh, because he's a uh, Jolly, or uh, Timid. Um, so we will see what I can do versus the uh, remainder of his Pokemon. I should be able to knock out Slaking. I should. Um, but he will actually, uh, oh man. This, this actually gets kind of complicated, because versus Slaking, I can low kick, and versus Weavile, I can knock off. Um, so we're going to see how much low kick does right here. Um, it's going to stink if I don't knock out a Slaking. I think I... He's really sucker punch. <sighs> Welp. That is certainly a thing. We're going to go for Specs Focus Blast, as that will 2 at KO Nine Tails pretty easily. Uh, hopefully we can, if we hit all three of our Focus Blasts, we win. If I don't hit all three of my Focus Blasts, I lose. Um, so we're 2 for 2 so far, which is a really bad omen. I'm going to open this Root Beer can next to me, and hopefully it shall give us good luck. Alright. Focus Blast, please. Focus Blast, please. You can do this. Magmortar, you can do this. Oh boy, I'm really nervous. I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer. <laughs> oh, come on, please just hit your Focus Blast, Magmortar. Come on, you can do this, man. You have giant, like, super cannon arms. All you have to do is just aim that cannon arm at a Pokemon who can't move half of the time. It has base 100 speed, but can only move half the time. It's likely Choice Scarf, but there's webs up. He goes for Sucker Punch, please hit. Okay, I have one more opportunity to hit my Focus Blast. If I don't hit this, I lose. 
Okay, I hit my focus blast, and uh, that's a wrap. He choked. He should have gone for Earthquake. But that is going to be a good game. We're up to 1290. Oh my goodness, we're 100 points away. Um, so, <laughs> that is going to be today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. And also, I apologize about my chair being all creaky and whatnot. I don't know why it's being, like, extra creaky this morning. Um, but that's beside the point. Also, make sure to answer today's comment question of the video. Which is, uh, what do you guys think of this new uh, showdown layout? Um, at first, I thought it was really trippy, but um, now it's actually kind of grown on me a little bit. So tell me what you guys think. And uh, with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip-flop.